Hello and welcome back here. Nicolas Cage has again talked about his Superman CGI appearance in The Flash. Cage was questioned over his Superman appearance in The Flash during a recent interview with Deadline on his Golden Globe-nominated role in Dream Scenario. The actor said he was happy to see the Man of Steel come to life, but he was also perplexed by the CGI that was employed for his looks since it didn't look right. He said, but that was a long time ago. And then what happened with The Flash, I wasn't upset, I was just perplexed. I was just like, it wasn't what I shot, and I was worried about it. Like did you just tell me that I was witnessing the destruction of the universe, so you could take pictures of me and then animate me? Whether it was through CGI or AI, that wasn't the conversation we had. So I was confused, but I was still happy to look at it. I still wanted to see Colleen Atwood's suit, which I maintain is a beautiful suit, and 50% of that character was my design. I wanted Superman to have the long, kind of black samurai hair and a vulnerable feeling, almost no blinking, a stillness in his eyes. And so it was 50-50. It was Tim and myself, we had designed something, and it never came to light, so when I saw it moving, I was very happy that Andy Muschietti wanted me to do it. I did get some satisfaction from seeing the character, but to me it didn't look right. But then Superman is an alien. Kal-El is from another planet. So in that way, the CGI kind of looked right, because it's alien. It doesn't look real. It doesn't look like it has a heartbeat. So I can look at it that way and think that it worked. For those who have followed Cage and the history of DC adaptions over the years, his appearance in The Flash may have been a throwaway cameo, but it did start conversations about making a legitimate Superman lives. Prior to James Gunn's DC Universe remake, there was speculation that WB could be eager to bring back some of its veteran performers, as seen by George Clooney's return to the role of Bruce Wayne after the disastrous Batman and Robin film. Although Clooney's absence has already been announced by Gunn, Cage told Deadline that it didn't seem probable that he will return as Superman. He said, I don't think that's coming back in any way. And listen I wasn't angry about the situation. I really wasn't. I was just confused. I was mystified by what happened in the first place, because Tim Burton, one of the greatest directors in the world, had wanted to make the movie and already had kind of defined the way to make the best comic book based storyline with the Batman franchise with Michael Keaton. So I couldn't understand why that studio, who had such success with that fantastic, brilliant director, would pull the plug. It seems sense that Cage wouldn't return given Gunn's intention to start over with the DCU, which includes announcing that none of the Justice League members portrayed by Zack Snyder will make a reappearance. Although Superman Legacy is not an origin story, it is anticipated to go into the early years of the eponymous character's heroic escapades. Gunn's first project, Superman Legacy, has already found its leading man in Pearl's David Corinsweet. With Cage's appearance in The Flash revealing a version of Superman about the same age as Corinsweet, it would only further confuse a timeline to have the Oscar winner feature in the movie. A project unrelated to Gunn's DCU would be the only avenue for Cage's Superman to make a comeback later on after The Flash. The producer of Joker Folie et Dur and The Batman Part 2, among other planned films, has previously expressed interest in developing Elseworlds titles. This means that Superman Lives and other legacy projects might still go forward. But given his apparent lack of confidence in his chances, it seems unlikely that viewers will ever see Cage don the Kryptonian outfit once more. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.